Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're looking at Sierra Leone and its geography, history, and culture. Join us and stay until the end to learn more about the nation's dark history and the resilient spirit driving its path toward a brighter future. Sierra Leone is a country located on the southwest coast of West Africa. It borders Guinea to the north and east, Liberia to the southeast, and the Atlantic Ocean to the west and southwest. Sierra Leone has a total area of 71,740 square kilometers, or 27,698 square miles, comprising of land area of 71,620 square kilometers, or 27,652 square miles, and water area of 120 square kilometers, or 46 square miles. The country has a diverse geography consisting of mountains, lowlands, forests, beaches, and rivers. Sierra Leone can be divided into four main geographical regions, the coastal belt, the interior plains, the interior plateau, and the mountain regions. The coastal belt runs along the Atlantic Ocean and comprises mangrove swamps, white sand beaches, and fishing settlements. It has a tropical climate with high humidity and rainfall. The interior plains make up 30% of the country. It consists of a wooded savanna dotted with hills and low mountains. The interior plateau covers the central and eastern parts of Sierra Leone. It consists of rolling hills, mountains, and valleys. The climate here is tropical with high rainfall. The mountainous region is located in the northeast and east of the country. The Loma Mountains and Tingi Hills are the major highlands with a temperate climate. The main rivers in Sierra Leone are the Sewa, Rokel, Pampana, and Moa Rivers. All of them drain towards the Atlantic Ocean. About 60% of the country is covered in forest and woodland consisting of tropical hardwood like mahogany, teak, and ebony. Mangrove forests are found in the coastal regions. Savannah woodlands dominate the interior plains and plateaus with grasses and scattered trees. Sierra Leone is rich in natural resources like diamonds, gold, bauxite, iron ore, rutile, chromite, and platinum. Its ocean waters contain abundant marine life and fish. The country's forests contain precious hardwood timber, Sierra Leone also has large deposits of clay, limestone, and kaolin. Agriculture is another major resource with rice, coffee, cocoa, and palm oil being the key crops. Sierra Leone is home to over 7 million people belonging to different ethnic groups, languages, and religions. The largest ethnic group in Sierra Leone is the Temne people, making up 35% of the population. They mostly inhabit the north of the country. The Mende people are the second largest group at 30% of the population residing in the southeast. Other groups include the Limba, Kono, Creole or Creole descendants, Mandingo and Loco. Despite the diversity, these groups have coexisted peacefully for long periods. While English is the official language used in schools and government, most Sierra Leoneans speak one of the African languages as their first language. The two largest indigenous languages are Temne, spoken by 35%, and Menda, spoken by 30% as first languages. Creole, an English-based Creole language, is spoken by 95% as a secondary language for trade and communication across ethnic lines. Other native languages include Limba, Kono, Loco, and Mandinka, among others. Sierra Leone is a predominantly Muslim country, with 78% following Islam, mostly Sunni. About 20% of the population are Christians belonging to different denominations like Protestants, Catholics, and Pentecostals. A small number, around 2%, follow traditional African religions or no religion. While the North is largely Muslim, the South has a more even split between Muslims and Christians. 
Sierra Leone has a vibrant and flavorful cuisine influenced by its diverse population. Rice is a staple accompaniment to most meals. Let's explore some of the country's most popular dishes. A hearty fish stew made with tilapia, onions, palm oil, peppers, and leafy greens. Slow cooked in a peanut or palm oil broth, it's flavored with sauteed onions, chili peppers, and herbs. Pemahun is usually served with rice or fufu. A staple side dish made by boiling and pounding cassava, plantains, or rice into a thick paste. It is rolled into balls and dipped into soups and stews. Fufu adds bulk and carbohydrates to balance the stronger flavors of other dishes. A rich, creamy, peanut-based soup thickened with rice flour or yam puree. It typically contains leafy greens, onions, chili peppers, fish or chicken, and ginger. Groundnut soup has a distinct nutty aroma and spice flavor. From its indigenous peoples to European colonization, independence, and civil war, Sierra Leone has gone through tumultuous as well as peaceful periods. The early inhabitants of Sierra Leone were the Menda and Temne peoples. In 1462, Portuguese explorer Pedro da Sintra mapped the hills surrounding what is now Freetown Harbor and named the area Serra Leoa, meaning Leon Mountains. In the 15th century, European traders arrived seeking slaves to ship to the Americas. The indigenous tribes initially traded slaves voluntarily before being forced into the slave trade. In 1787, British philanthropists founded the Province of Freedom, which later became Freetown, a home for repatriated and rescued slaves. In 1808, Freetown became a British crown colony as more recaptured Africans were settled there. By 1896, Britain had colonized the Freetown area and its interior, declaring a protectorate known as Sierra Leone. In 1951, Sir Milton Margai led the Sierra Leone People's Party to victory in the first parliamentary elections. After negotiations with Britain, Sierra Leone gained independence on April 27, 1961. Sir Milton Margai became the first Prime Minister. After his death in 1964, his half-brother Sir Albert Margai succeeded him until being ousted in the 1967 elections. In 1991, the Revolutionary United Front, RUF, launched a civil war in Sierra Leone seeking to overthrow the government. The rebels were backed by the leader of Burkina Faso, Blaise Compaore, and the Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi. The RUF funded their rebellion by gaining control of the diamond mines and smuggling out diamonds to trade for weapons and cash. These diamonds came to be known as blood diamonds or conflict diamonds. The civil war devastated Sierra Leone for over a decade, fueled by the trade in illicit blood diamonds. The RUF committed horrific atrocities, like forced recruitment of child soldiers. Tens of thousands were killed and millions displaced. Under the cover of war, rebel and government forces plundered the country's diamond wealth to enrich themselves and prolong the conflict. It became a resource war, where human lives mattered less than controlling the diamond fields. International sanctions, banning trade of Sierra Leonean diamonds, finally helped cut off funding to the rebels. In 2002, the civil war was declared over thanks to British military intervention and UN peacekeeping forces. The legacy of blood diamonds haunts Sierra Leone to this day. It weakened institutions, ruined infrastructure, and traumatized generations. Illicit diamond mining still thrives, funding organized crime and corruption. The nation still struggles to regulate its mineral wealth and prevent another conflict. Blessed with abundant natural resources, Sierra Leone has the potential to become one of Africa's leading economies. Its main economic activities include mining, agriculture, and fishing. However, the country faces challenges like corruption, 
inadequate infrastructure and over-reliance on mineral exports. Sierra Leone's economic story revolves around its diamonds. These precious gems have been both a blessing and a curse for the country. While they provide major export earnings, diamonds also fueled a bloody civil war in the 1990s as rebel forces plundered the mines to finance their activities. Even today, mining drives the Sierra Leone economy, accounting for over 70% of export revenue. The country is among the world's largest diamond producers, with iron ore, bauxite, gold, and chromite mining also contributing. However, the government struggles to regulate this sector amidst rampant illegal and unethical mining practices. Another pillar of Sierra Leone's economy is agriculture, employing over 60% of the workforce. Rice is the staple crop, with coffee, palm oil, cocoa, and cashews being major exports. However, frequent droughts, poor irrigation, and lack of modern farming practices limit productivity in this sector. Abundant marine life makes fishing an important economic activity in Sierra Leone. The nutrient-rich waters support shrimping and large-scale fish production. But illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing has depleted fish stocks in recent years. If you enjoyed this video on Sierra Leone, you'll love this next one.